Hi YouTube, Tim Munkert from HTMLTim.com here. In this video, I want to talk about setting up a writing environment in the Pulsar text editor. So I've been inspired by this post from Max uh, Zisol or Zisol. Um, he set up a little blog on about writing fiction in Atom, and we know that Pulsar is carrying on the legacy of Atom. So I wanted to set up a writing environment in Pulsar and also I'll start blogging on HTML Tim. So this is the uh, Pulsar text editor. I'm gonna talk, the look is a little different than when you first started up. That's because I felt like when setting up a writing environment, I wanted kind of like a sophisticated theme. So the theme I'm using, the UI theme is the Atom Material theme and the syntax theme is Oceanic Next. Okay, I think they pair together very well and they get me in that writing mood, okay? Um, now, I've installed some packages here and you'll see here in the sample markdown document that you know the actual area that I'm gonna write doesn't go all the way across the screen. So if I make this a sample blog post right here, I'm giving a title and markdown and let's say I do some warm ipsum text and I close out the sidebar, I kind of have a centered uh, viewport or a centered um, screen here. So there is a package I'm using to do that. So if I go back to the settings, I'll show you the package and it's going to load. And the package that I'm using is called typewriter. Okay. Now with typewriter, out of the box, it only is 80 characters wide. I like it a little bit wider. So uh, what I would do is go up to, I think I want to go up to core here, and I'm going to look for my preferred line length. And it may be actually, it may be an editor. So let me just scroll down here. Uh, preferred line, line length right here. And the default is 80. I set it at 100. So you see it's a little bit wider than the 80. If you set it at 80 out of the box, so let's do that, set it at the default, okay? Now it's gonna be a bit more narrow, okay? Which you may like, I like it a little bit wider, so I'm just gonna go back here and set it to 100. And of course, you can set it to really any number you want um, to get your optimal writing environment, okay? Another package I have, which gives me a word count in the status bar, you see I have 72 words and 464 characters so far. Uh, and that might be good for if you're writing characters for, let's say, a YouTube video description. Maybe I'll write a YouTube video description for this and you can have up to 5,000 characters. So that gives me a character count as well. Uh, the package that does that is called word count. Okay, so you wanna install that package. Okay, uh, in terms of look and feel, I've got this little markdown icon here, which is kind of nice. And if I go out here, you can see I've got in my, in my um, file explorer, I've got the markdown icon here. That's a little visual bling, if you will. And that is the file icons package, okay? So that's that package. Uh, in terms of look and feel, um, I changed the font. I have a video, and I'll link that in the description, a video on the top uh, fonts I would use for the Pulsar text editor. I feel for writing, the uh, font that I would use, I'll go up here, is Roboto Mono, which was about third on my list of overall programming fonts. But for writing, I think that comes as in as my number one font that helps to set the mood. I've got the material UI theme with the oceanic necks, the file icons, and the Roboto Mono. There's a little visual bling that gets you in that writing mood. Um, the next thing you'll see here is I have some of these misspelled lorem ipsum words underlined, okay? And the way I set that up is I went to packages, and I went to, I typed in spell, and we have a built-in spell check. You wanna to go to settings here, and then in the settings, 
uh, in terms of the grammars, the files that's going to check, add text.markdown. This is assuming if you're writing in Markdown, if you're writing in a plain text, you've already got that, but if you're writing in Markdown, you want to add text.md, and that will turn that on. And then if I go down here and I say, I can spell really well. Well, you'll see that there's a little red line that underlines that there. I can go here and do control shift or yeah, it's control shift semicolon, and then that'll pull up suggestions for me. Okay, and it doesn't pull up spell, which it should, but oh yes, wait, sorry, I correct myself. It does pull up spell, so I'll go and go to spell and then hit enter, and it will give me the correct spelling. So that's control shift and the semicolon. That's a great shortcut. Okay. Um, so that's the spelling. You notice on this theme that it highlights the current line you're on very, very well. Okay. So I didn't need to install any additional packages there. But if your theme is different, if you want to do a different theme, one package you may want to install is the highlight dash line package. And that's a very good package for highlighting the current line. It just makes it very, very visible. So if you're using OneDark, the highlighting on OneDark, the default theme that comes with Pulsar, uh, isn't super pronounced, which you may like, but if you want it to be pronounced, uh, highlight line would help you there. Okay, uh, next thing we can do is if we, let's close out the, the sidebar. Well, that's not what I want to do. Close out the sidebar here. And let's do Markdown Preview, which would be Control-Shift-M. That'll pull up a preview in this side panel here. And you can save as HTML, copy as HTML, and so forth. Okay, so that's one thing you can do there. Uh, so that's the Markdown Preview. Another package that we could install, let me make sure I have it installed here, is, let's take a look. This, yeah, I have it installed. The markdown-toc package. And what that does, let me put a second level heading here. So this will be a second level heading in markdown. We'll go down here. We'll do a third level heading. And let's have some more lorem ipsum text there. And if I want to go up here, and let's say I want to go here and put a table of contents, well, I can do Control Shift P and do Markdown TOC toggle. And look at that. I've got a table of contents inserted into my document. Now, if I do Markdown Preview, these links won't actually work in uh, the Markdown Preview. It just gives you a preview of it. But if you convert it via Pandoc or copy as HTML or something like that, um, the links will work, okay? The next package I want to talk about is a package just to get you in that writing mode, and that is Adam Hemingway, okay? Now, this is not enabled out of the box. So let me go down here. So, and I'll talk about how I'm scrolling down so much in a moment. But let's say I start typing here. I start typing and I start typing and I want to backspace. Okay, well, I just hit the backspace. Okay. But if I enable Adam Hemingway, so if I go to Adam Hemingway toggle, which is Control Alt Shift H for the keyboard shortcut, or I just use it like I'm doing through the command palette, well, now it's enabled and now I cannot backspace. I cannot backspace. So, so the idea here, and I spelled idea wrong, I can't backspace. So the idea is that you just type and don't edit. Okay, so it puts you in that writing flow. Now, if you want to turn that off, it's Control Alt Shift H. Okay, so I just did that, and now I can you know, go backspace and I can edit and so on. But that's Adam Hemingway. Now, the reason I'm able to scroll here like this is if I go up to, I believe it's editor. Let's take a search for it. Uh, this one, yep. Scroll past end. This is not enabled out of the box, but I enable it, which allows me to scroll up and center my screen, which is 
pretty nice. I like that. Okay, so that's scroll past end. One more thing I want to talk about is if you do run pandoc from the terminal, um, there is something which is, let's see, open, I want to say terminal, open terminal here. That's a package, so control alt T. So let's try that, control alt T, and it opens up the terminal for you. And then you can run your pandoc command. So it opens up your terminal installed in your machine, which is fairly nice. Okay, I'm just going to close this out. But that package, let's take a look at the packages here in case you want to try that package out. That one is open terminal here. Okay. I think that's it for setting up the writing environment. If you have additional suggestions that you like to have in your Pulsar writing environment, please leave comments in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you for watching. If you like videos on the Pulsar text editor, you might want to subscribe. I have a ton of videos on this channel on the editor, and I hope to see you in the next one.